Welcome to the Sober Cube podcast. Hi, my name is Anna and I'm an alcoholic. And the question is, how do I know I'm an alcoholic? Uh, well, for me, there are a couple of things that stand out with my drinking. Um, and the, there's two things really that makes me different from most drinkers. Um, the first one is the amount of alcohol I drink once I start. It seems I have no control over the amount I drink. I get, every time I pick up a drink, I get this craving. It's like a, a thirst. I get really thirsty when I drink alcohol. And it's, that doesn't happen when I have coffee or orange juice or water. You know, never have I had 10 glasses of orange juice or 10 bottles of water. Um, but when I have alcohol, I get, really thirsty and it's sort of al the alcohol in front of me is the only thing that matters and the th second thing um is that i seem to be unable to leave alcohol alone despite knowing that every time i drink it goes out of control and when i do get too drunk i seem to stuff up a lot you know my life becomes quite difficult when i drink because i get way too drunk and i get drunk a lot and often I lie a lot about my drinking, to, even to the people that mattered the most to me. And it was becoming a real problem. You know, my work was suffering. I, I drive drunk. I would do things that I normally wouldn't do if I was sober. And the problem for me, I guess, was that even though I knew all those things, I drank anyway. And I guess that's how I know I'm an alcoholic because first I get this craving. Every time I pick up a drink, I get thirsty. I have to have more. And then when I sober up, even though I know that I stuff up and I get thirsty, I get the craving, I do things that I regret, I drink anyway. And that is just madness. You know, any sane person would go, okay, every time I drink, I make a lot of mistakes. I hurt people and I nearly lost my job. I probably shouldn't drink anymore. But me as an alcoholic, I think those things too. But somewhere in my brain, there's there's no, there's a, a little voice saying that I can drink anyway, that it's going to be okay. And towards the end of my drinking, um, I actually found that I couldn't stop. I really wanted to stop drinking and stay stopped and not pick up a drink because I knew every time I drank, it really got out of control. And I, I actually found that I couldn't stop. And for me, that was really, really frightening. I was drinking against my will um, on a daily basis, trying to stop desperately, but not being able to, because as soon as I picked up a drink, I got the craving, which meant I drank more, I'd stuff up, I'd come to, I remember how bad it was. But then for some reason, I would pick up a drink again, I'd almost fool myself saying that it'll be okay and everything just involved around alcohol um, I had an, a complete obsession with alcohol so for me the way I know I'm an alcoholic is that I get a craving once I start drinking I'm unable to put it down and even when I'm sober despite knowing how much damage I do I drink anyway and for me that's how I know I'm an alcoholic thanks for letting me share if you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.